The feds just raided the place Young Dolph got hit up at. You remember that cookie shop? They just came through with the battering ram and hit the whole front door and the back to get the missing evidence. To find what happened, watch this whole video and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like and share, especially if y'all Young Dolph fans and supporters. Go ahead and comment, long live Young Dolph, L-L-Y-D. Throw the dolphin emojis in the comment section. Let me know where y'all from. Let's go, man. So the feds, they knew that there was some missing evidence and missing footage of Young Dolph, just like how we all been waiting for the footage to come out. So what they did was the first thing, the first order was they came into Memphis early in the morning as soon as the sun got up at sunset it was like 5 30 a.m at sunrise they kicked in through the door of the makita's cookie shop they remember it's supposed to be closed they never opened back up after that day that young Dolph was in there and found with the arm out the window they kicked the door in they seen they try to remodel and clean the place up and they they actually found in that back hallway they found the chair the fire extinguisher the rope that was used to tie and keep like keep them in the chair and everything like that and they found the damage it was consistent with the fact that somebody was tussling and they were wrestling in the back there remember what raven's brother said he said that he's the one that stood up and told Dolph, get down now and this is exactly where this is coming out of his mouth when they got interviewed and everything like that literally the same week that it happened who was yelling to tell Dolph to get on the ground because that when somebody says that and the way things happen it sounded like they was trying to get him inside the back of that shop like somebody was trying to hit a stain a lick or some type of finesse was going on where they were like had the blicky out told him to get on the ground and everything like that you got to pay attention to what they said because if you really think about it you got to realize how a lot of people was in on this because they put up 500k on Dolph head but it was supposed to be spread it was supposed to be 300k 250 to whoever like drops the location and lures him to the place another 50k for all the people that was actually in them cars following and everything like that when they broke it down they interviewed every single person from that all of the suspects the suspects just kept pointing fingers back at cmg yo Gotti, big jook or black youngster and the fact that the one person that pointed out to govan was actually with them that same exact day and so they know for a fact that a lot of these people that got caught up for this they are actually about to tell and there's no type of like they're not going to just like take the hit for another person man that never really happens that don't happen no more so now they after the feds raided the cookie shop they found the shoe print of young Dolph like it doesn't show that he walked in from the front it shows young Dolph shoe print start at the back of the store so what does that tell you that tells you that young Dolph did never drove his car there he came in through the back a lot of people were saying that they must have brought young Dolph there they must have took him from one spot did something and then brought him up there you got to remember that this whole entire thing is a lot of scenarios and so the way we looking at it we seen the fact that all the evidence that was missing the feds having to go back in there and raid it remember the last time the marshals wanted to come back in they didn't want to open up the cookie shop like they was all busy or something like that doing something else but when key glock wanted to pay to do the music video there to do the tribute song somebody had came in and turned on the lights to the front sign so what's with all the funny business surrounded around that same cookie shop were they in on it were they not let me know what you guys think because I want to send my condolences to all the Young Dolph family, all the whole PRE camp, because this whole thing should have been solved right away, but it was a lot of people who was basically contradicting statements. They were saying one thing, then it turns out the real facts of what happened was a whole nother situation, and this happened directly from the cookie shop people. They were saying the dad was in there, the owner was in there, so why did, why, how come the owner was in there and then ran to the laundromat to change clothes before anybody called 911? Then when MPD pops up, he in a whole different uniform, he don't have the red apron on no more. He changed from a red shirt to a gray shirt, and you could see that in all of the pictures where the people was on the side of the shop like gathered around like how are they going to tell the story about the owner being there and everything what did what did maurice hill the owner of the cookie shop do 
to make the everybody try to tell a different story like they were trying to cover up for him and what was he trying to tell them to say because they never got the story straight he came out with a changed whole fresh pair of clothes conveniently next to the laundromat and the people who called the mpd was the laundromat they hit the button right there at the bottom of the counter the lady in the cookie shop said that she was too scared and she ran to the back she didn't even tell young Dolph to get down they could have hit the button to make the emergency notice so that mpd shows up right away but they didn't even want to do that they weren't even planning on calling no type of ambulam or anything like that and so now marie sale the cookie shop owner literally walks out in a whole new change of clothes and he tells mpd that it was dolph brother that was doing all the rounds and he was the one dumping the rounds out the draco so they immediately cuff young dolph brother and somehow somebody gave them young dolph keys how did they get young dolph keys and everything like that they're not supposed to take any keys out of your pocket they're supposed to keep everything that's in your belongings in a, in a manila envelope and take it in to the evidence room the car is supposed to be towed but why did they get the keys from somebody and then they told him that um to give him the chrome heart bag out the trunk if you look at that picture you could go binge watch all of the videos it's a picture showing the mpd dude opening up the trunk that Dolph had that chrome heart bag in he was riding around with the whole entire weekend and a lot of people said that Dolph had the cashier's checks for millions of dollars because he just came back and got all the profit and revenue from all of his businesses in Memphis because it was the end of the year so they wanted that chrome heart bag the people from the cookie shop whoever gave whoever had young Dolph keys after they took it out of his pocket just the day before they made sure to show up on that scene and tell mpd to take the bag out the trunk then when they took the bag out the trunk we never seen it they could have walked in and gave it to raven they could have gave it to 901 trigger tray they could have gave it to anybody that's really right there they could have gave it to one of the witnesses who knows who was really there and they said that one of the firefighters took young Dolph ninety thousand dollar cartier watch off his wrist why would they take the one piece of jewelry off of him and put it in their pocket but they didn't t touch none of the other jewelry they put that in the ziploc bag and sent it in to shelby county to the medical examiner so he could see if this was a chain snatching event if this was possibly that what, what it was motivated by but at the end of the day the people who took young Dolph belongings on the on right there on the crime scene they was wrong for that man they was wrong for that because they robbed young Dolph when he couldn't even defend himself or nothing like that they took his bag that had five million dollars in cashier's checks in it and it wasn't even signed yet they could sign it and cash it and then they took the ninety thousand dollar cartier watch and never returned any of that that could have been millions of dollars and you know that young Dolph artist they are the ones who inherited all the jewelry because Young Dolph already had it stated saying that anything happened to him, he wants PRE to have all of his jewelry. He wants the artist that he had, he was working with and had signed to him. That's why Key Glock got the $800,000 chain with the big blue dolphin. And Daddy O got the PRE chain, the biggest PRE chain there was. Kenny Money, he got the other two chains plus the bracelets and they gave Bankroll Freddy the other blue dolphin with the blue and diamonds in it and everything like that and so why is it that the firefighter took the watch and somebody from the cookie shop took the bag it seemed like they was trying to basically lure Dolph there to basically try to get anything now that he got hit up now they are trying to take the car they trying to take the money they trying to take the jewelry anything else young Dolph had what did young Dolph come there to get and how much money did he actually have on him they never disclosed the amount of bread that young Dolph had a lot of these rappers they walk around with over a hundred thousand dollars and Dolph has way more bread than most of these rappers out there so we know for a fact that even though somebody else sent the hit and did everything if yo Gotti sent the hit he did that the crash test dummies they did the drill they went to collect their money from big jook and everybody like that but all the other people that came to the scene they were like vultures as soon as they seen Dolph was hit they came running to the scene that's why it was so many people standing outside there